Are you looking for happiness in your life? It's important to remember that happiness is not a destination, but a journey. It's not about achieving everything you want, but finding joy in the little moments. Take time to appreciate the people and experiences that bring you happiness. And remember, it's okay to seek help. When you're not feeling happy, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. So embrace the journey of finding happiness and prioritize. Good morning, good morning, young people. And welcome to our talk show, Let's Talk Young People. So today we'll be discussing a certain topic. We'll be discussing on happiness. We'll be talking about happiness. What is happiness? What should I do in order to be happy? You know, we've had a lot of cases of suicide. I remember in the high school where I was, there was a grade 8 boy. He committed suicide. You know, it was very sad, you know. The whole school was like shocked. And when I, uh, later, I think after two years, there was another grade 9 girl. She committed suicide. And besides that, even it was like, there were like girls in my closet that were always attempting to. <laughs> To commit suicide, like, you know, after everything, you know, you see they cut themselves there, you know. So I, I asked myself a question, um, why, why, why do they do that? So I realized that deep inside of them, they lacked happiness. I spoke to one lady who was in my class because she always attempted to commit suicide, to commit suicide basically. And, you know, I, I asked her, I asked her, like, I was like, can you tell me quickly uh why what pushes you in, like what makes you do this and she she answered me she was like <clears throat> Valdi, i feel like i would be better if i died it, it would be better if i died I'm like, why, why are you saying such things you know you should appreciate your life and she was like no 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 i'm not happy so i've been studying I've been studying um, this topic for a while. Happiness. Why some people aren't happy. What to do. What should I do in order to be happy? <clears throat> well, what I realize is that, you know, we as youngsters, we tend to envy others. So basically, we'll see like, this girl, she bought herself an iPhone 15, and I have an Android. Why do I have an Android? I also have to give myself an iPhone 15. You understand? You'll see, like, no, this one, he's, he's 30 years old, and he bought himself a house. And I'm here, 31. No house, I'm still renting. That's the problems we're having. You know, others would be like, no, she's beautiful. All the guys, all the guys like her. Guys are approaching her. But I'm here, I'm not married yet. No one is, is a pro not a problem you know but you you'll see that people aren't appreciating what they have people aren't appreciating what they have and that's that's the beginning of problems that's where everything starts you know um two years back in 2022 i used to work in a place where i used to work in back in the estates you know and there was this one guy, I can't say he was my friend because he was like, he was 60 years old, so he was way older than me. But we used to talk very nice, you know, we used to talk, we used to communicate very, very nicely. And he'd be like, he'd give me advice. He was a very successful guy. Uh, he was a millionaire, he was a very successful guy. He had money and, you know, yeah, very successful, he was good. He had granddaughters, he had also kids which were successful, you know. So, one day, he came to me, and he was like, Valdi, can you, can you pray for me? And I was like, yeah, I, I can pray for you, but it seems a bit, it's, it's a bit odd, you know? I've never, like, you never asked me for this. It's the first time. He was like, Valdi, things are not well with me. But he seemed to be a happy person, you know? He seemed to be a happy person. Yeah, his name was Nick. Yeah, so he's like, well, they think aren't well with me. So I was like, uh, what do you mean? You've got a mansion, because he, he literally had a mansion. I used to live like 
a few meters from where we used to work, you know. Or like you, you gotta mention you you've got successful kids, you've got a cause, like you have everything you want. Look at me, I'm working to make a living, you know? I'm working to be a better person. But you've got all that. What do you mean like things are well with you? I asked him that question. And it was like, Valdi, you know, um my son committed suicide. And his son was like uh, his son was in the early early thirties, eh? Yeah, it can be let me say like let me say thirty five. Yeah. Thirty five. Let me just say that because he looked like I estimated that age. But he was like, Yeah, my son committed suicide. So I was like, Your son committed suicide? I was like, What you mean? What caused it? He also looked he was married, he looked cool, he looked like he's happy. He had everything. And then he was like, um, yeah, you know, sometimes we can look happy, but we're not happy. I'm like, no, that, that does make sense. Sometimes I can also fake being happy. <laughs> yeah. And then I asked him, why did your son commit suicide? You know, I was actually wondering, like, why? Why would a rich person, rich person that has everything, has money, has, why would he commit suicide? I thought maybe suicide was only for the poor, you know? So he was like, Valdi, he had a painting company, which was very successful, it was going good, but then he had millions of rands that he had, that he owed the bank and he couldn't pay, so he had debts. So he saw that he couldn't pay those debts and he's put him into a depression state and his company was just going, you know, downgrading, things were a while anymore. And, you know, he decided to take away his life. I was like, what? That's actually very sad. And then you know what I picked up? I was like, no, that means happiness doesn't come from money. Money doesn't bring happiness. Money doesn't bring happiness. You can have all the money in the world. But that doesn't make you a happy person. So I was researching what makes you happy. What is what makes you happy as a youngster? What can make what makes us happy? And I figured out one thing. And that's since I figured that out, that's what I'm doing and it's helping me big time, you know. I figured out that appreciating you have appreciate the little that you have that's the beginning of happiness you know like i've met i've met a okay there was one day i went to this house and they were very it's a it's a family friend you know and they were like going through a hard time they were like valdi we don't have even a drink to give you like we're really sorry. And I was like, no, don't worry. I'll buy you guys a drink, you know? And they were like, Baldi, um, we're going through a tough time, but everything will be okay. So I was like, no, no, no. You seem, you seem happy. And they were like, happy. The, the husband was calling the wife, darling. The, the, the wife was calling the husband, honey, you know? They were this romantic, you know? They, were, they looked very happy. And I was like, wow. So these people are actually going through a tough time. I thought I was going to find them like, you know, sad. <laughs> each one in his corner. You know, when there's no money, then that's when problems start. <laughs> yeah, each one in his corner. But I actually realized that they were happy. They didn't need money for them to be happy. Why? Because they accepted the little that they had. Understand? So you get. Twenty dollars, or <laughs> let me say, you get twenty rand per hour. That's your pay, or you maybe get let me say per day. Your shift is maybe hundred rand. Appreciate it. Work hard to get better, and you will be happy. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Don't compare like no, he has this. I also have to get this. That's what's killing us. We're trying to live in the competition. That's what's removing the happiness from us. The fact that we're trying to live 
in the competition. Like we're trying to live like a life to please people. You know, you want to please people. You want people to clap to applaud for you. Yeah, people can applaud for you. But the same people that applaud for you are the same people that will criticize you when you don't have. You understand? The same people that watch applaud for you up for your uprising will also uh, will criticize your downfall, you know? That's how life is. So appreciate what you have. The little bit that you have, the little bit that your parents can offer you, appreciate it. Be like, yeah, you know, I'm happy with it. I can live with it. Accept it. One person you asked me, like, Valdi, if you had to restart, if you had to rewind, like, restart everything from over, if you had a choice to, to, to choose your life, who would you want to be? Like, what life would you want to live? So I told him, no, no, you tell me what life would you want to live, because I wanted to see what you would say. It was like, no, if I really had to choose, I'd want to be Bill Gates. <laughs> and I was like, if I had to choose, if I had a choice, I don't want to be Valdi again, you know, because I'm just a happy person. I'm happy with what I have. I appreciate what I have. I told him, how do you know that Bill Gates is not having some tragic moments now? How do you know Bill Gates is not having some drama in his family? How do you know if, you know, how do you know that he's not having some stress? You know? With great power comes great responsibilities. That's a saying that all the, <laughs> the the 2000 babies know. Like we watch Spider-Man. That's what I say. With great powers come great responsibilities. That means with a lot of money, with a lot of things that you have, will come. There's a there's a, there's a big responsibility. That means the more your income, the greater your expenses. So. I learned, I learned to appreciate the little bit that I have, to appreciate what I have today. If I don't have this, I'll work hard to get it. Tomorrow will be a brighter day. The sun will shine again tomorrow. I'll work hard. Instead of sitting there and depressing because you don't have this and he has that. No. We come to this life, we come on this earth alone and we'll return alone. Name me one person that has that passed away and that was buried with with money. That was buried with houses, or that was buried with cars. No. All these things if these things that you leave here on earth. No matter if you're rich, no matter if you're poor, when you die, your body will still your body will rot. Your body will stink. People will be looking at is is this <laughs> The rich guy, you know, if people have to look at your dead body, you know. So, live your life and learn to appreciate what you have. Don't, le don't live to, to please people. Don't live in competition with people. Appreciate what you have. What God has provided for you. Appreciate that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching us today. and. We'll be having more episodes. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, and share the video so you can help another youngster that's going through a difficulty, you know? So yeah, thank you very much, guys. See you next time.